What is up, everybody? This is Andy, and this is another game in the saga of the Fresno State Coronavirus Dynasty. The dynasty whose aim is to bring your self-entertainment, but more importantly, my self-entertainment, during the coronavirus lockdown in which we have no sports. Now, we just did get some positive news today regarding that. In addition to soccer somewhere started. I want to say it was German League, but we just got news that the NBA is going to start up again. I think in about two months, isn't it? I think it's like August 1st or something like that. Um, the only rule they had was the Pelicans have to get in. As long as the Pelicans get in, they didn't care. You know, maybe they could have just done Pelicans Lakers finals, just go straight to the finals. And that would do two things. That would guarantee we see Zion, and it also basically guarantee that LeBron gets in our championship. So that would have satisfied really both of their objectives. I guess I guess they could only have uh, Zion in it as a as an explicit objective. Getting LeBron a championship, I guess, couldn't. It wouldn't be fair. It would, it would probably generate too much outrage for that to be an explicit objective. So they had to keep with that one kind of implicit. So, anyways, we're rolling on. If you've been following the dynasty. Derek Carr's hurt, still hurt. He's out for two more games, so we have to play with feathers for two more games. But he's done a pretty good job. Uh, he's thrown a couple of interceptions, but really that's on me. That isn't due to inaccurate passes. Uh, even if I had Carr, I would have thrown those interceptions. So it's really not on him. He's done a good job. And I've made good use of his legs since we're running a lot of uh, PA read, PA read flow, those type of plays. I often roll to the right. And, uh, and it, it's been open for, for runs when that is open up. Yeah, so it, I am going to play USC. I'm pretty sure that since UCLA left and Fresno State joined, I think we took over, I think we simply took over UCLA's slot in the scheduling. So I'm pretty sure we're going to play USC the last game of every season. Which is cool. I mean, does this become a rivalry? Do rivalries change? I don't know the rivalries change in this game. I know you can change. Look, they're an A plus too. Look at that. Uh, I know. I know your conferences and all that can change. Pipelines, all those different kind of things. I don't know if your rivals can change. Like, could we end up being rivals with USC? I kind of doubt it. I don't think that stuff really change. So in that sense, we probably should try to rotate. I'm gonna change my input here. Probably should try to rotate in games with like San Jose. San Diego State. We, we've we've explored those for off season, or excuse me, uh, out of conference games, but haven't uh, hasn't happened yet. Only Boise, and I think Nevada last year. Yeah, it's kind of a down year for the conference, it appears. Cal. So Oregon is four and zero. They could end up ranked pretty easily, I feel like. Also Washington, were their only loss. Boise, were their only loss. I mean, that's it's pretty good, but it's also a mix. Minnesota three and one. So yeah, it's a kind of a mixed bag. It's a mixed bag. It is, yeah. Now Arizona State, they're an A+, plus, but they're 1-3. What's that about? That's an interesting one. I mean, that's a team that could easily rally and end up ranked as well. It is, dude, all the way. That's what we've been telling them. We've been telling them that for years. Years, years and years. East Coast bias, man. So let's do this thing. We're going to play Stanford. It's at home. We're really not making any changes. I guess we could look at recruiting. I think we already took care of this, though. We, uh, we dropped off a couple guys, so a couple guys that... Uh, where is it? A couple of guys that we were giving points to, I decided to yank it. So we yanked that guy. I think we already yanked him. So I think it was actually just this guy. We decided to take him out so we could give those points to other guys that we kind of have a bigger need at. And we still need corners, but we can fill that in, uh, in offseason recruiting. And we already have, th we have three freshman corners. I mean, oh, actually, we don't even have an explicit need at corner. If you look, we only have an explicit need at outside linebacker. So, uh. So we're really okay. So we're kind of looking to find our quote-unquote Devante. And uh, that's really it. Oh, we do need another running back, too. We're so thin at running back. It's like fri it's frightening how thin we are at running back. Audrey Potamus, what's up, man? Oh, dude, I, you know what? You guys are both orange. I didn't realize that was you guys were each talking. Sorry about that. I, did, uh, yeah, I, didn't, I, I, I did not mean to not say hi, Audrey Potamus. That's a good question. Names in the recruiting class. Yeah, on my screen... Coach Bop is orange, and Audrey is a very, very, very slightly darker shade of orange. I thought it was the same person talking. I, I think the names are kind of boring. I think we looked already, and they're kind of boring. Let's have a look. Michael Taylor, David Wood, Brandon Max, Bobby White, Robert Harris, Timothy Madison, Jake Taylor, Drew Albin, 
I don't know if I've ever seen the name Albin in this game before. Scott Brown, Howard Ross, Adam Smith. He's clearly coming for the uh, the School of Economics. Although he doesn't care what kind of fo style of football we play. It might be academics with this guy. He hasn't ruled it out. That's true. You know. If we get if we get him and he looks like Devonte, we're changing him to Devonte. <laughs> he could be the chipmunk. He could be. All right, let's just hope. Did we, did we check on suspensions? We already checked, so we shouldn't have any. All right, let's get to it. You know. There must be a guy in the game named Albin. That's just a strange name. I mean, not that it's that weird, but you kind of wonder what goes into having these... Uh, My partners in crime, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Uh... Just, uh, oh, sorry, I was reading really text. I got realtors today. and people texting me, calling me. Yeah, it makes me wonder what the logic is on what g names go in here. Because the game technically doesn't ship with names. However, if you put names in, the announcers will say them. So, Albin, yeah. Fresno State is so explosive. Just Edwards and Banks. Get the ball into this receiver's hands as much as possible. Returning? After the catch is I mean, Edward Banks, Edwards, Edwards and McDonald are both juniors. They could go pro. Right? Or are they seniors? No, no, no. They're seniors. They're seniors. They're seniors. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I was talking about suspensions. I apologize. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take ball. I'm going to take ball. I think we can get aggressive against the worst team. Because I think it's been a while since I've uh, really rolled somebody and been like wire to wire, get my touchdown, get some uh, get some momentum. I know you guys are just waiting for this guy to fumble. He did fumble one time. He dropped the punt, right? Or no, it was a, it was a kickoff or a punt. He for sure dropped one. Okay, let's start off with a little, a little bit of this. Okay, so I actually have good linebackers. This could be problematic for running the ball. Dot linebackers, it seems to not matter. Let's try to get a jump. There we go. It seems to not matter. Yeah, I think it was kickoff. But it, it seems to not matter uh, their rating. Dot linebackers just seem to have immaculate uh, pursuit. They don't get blocked, stuff like that. We're on the same play. So we already have good luck here with the jump, the snap counts. Okay, I don't like this because if I run right, that corner sitting over there, I, I might just hope to get some uh, some kind of off tackle dive type stuff. Here we go. Oh, sealed him. Switch ball hands. Set one down. Yes. Ooh, got the big hit. Okay, so I probably shouldn't be juking and stuff like that when uh, when uh, there's a dot man in pursuit. Let's go P. Reed, and we'll go with the big twin. They line up at the 43. First down. The Cardinals. Okay, they got they got some wide splits now. Get the edge. Get the edge. Mm, wow. And the big hit. Don't care for that. I guess I could have gone a little wider. Well, I definitely could have gone a little wider. Hmm, all right. Well, let's go to Old Faithful. Let's get strong slots. There we go. He did. He did. I did, ex did not expect the big hit. I've had pretty good luck getting guys, getting the cor getting the edge on guys. Let's see if he moves back. It's really put a lot of pressure on their offense to try to win the game. Oh no. He's looking. Nah, it's probably okay that that got knocked out. So what happened here? We they came up the middle. Did I did I fan my line? I might have. I don't think I don't know if I did though. Yeah, they just blitz. So how many did they end up blitzing? It's so hard to tell who's in coverage. So they only blitz one guy. Unless that counts as a blitz. This guy got pancakes. They might have been rushing six. I guess effectively they were rushing six, third and eleven. Okay. 
I'm not really sure what to run here. Let's go with this. I like stuff out of this formation. Let's look at LB attack. Oh, let's look at PA read. So here I like potentially Wiley coming across the middle. I, I think I'm basically going to have to roll right and also hope that Hayden uh, pulls guys with him. Also, uh, Robbie could get loose here. Okay, Hayden, pull, 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 pull. Ah, no, darn it. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, oh, darn it. Okay, get rid of it. Hmm, I really wanted to go to one of these guys, but then I was being chased. Like, I was thinking about going to Wiley here. I mean, they're kind of open, but also he's going to start to run back. And this guy's running up right here. I just, I didn't want to turn over. Yeah, I can't, I guess, I guess, I need to, I, with, what, what am I trying to think of here? Do I need to be willing to throw the post? With uh, with feathers, I might be, I might be. That's true, but that gives up momentum, which I don't want to do. Oh, I'll shook him. Yeah, the whole point is to not give up momentum. So I understand what you're saying, though. Okay, wide out. Is that a receiver or running back? For some reason, I thought the running back was in. A... Oh, man, just let it go. Slade just declined to make the play there. Yeah, it's true. His, his accuracy is not good. Is he on minus or plus yet? He's on plus one. What goes into that, though? Minus one power. I don't know why. He has 80 accuracy. I mean, the 80 accuracy, I feel like, should be some kind of threshold. So maybe it is, maybe it's not. Receivers. Let's play the run here. Play linebacker, see if we can bait a throw over the middle. Okay. He's taking off running. Nice. Tito. Get him. Oh, yeah, it's our first home game of the season. I have to see if I can get some signs going, some signage. Okay, we'll play McDonald. We'll play this. We'll play this. Got there. Okay. Not bad. Third and eight. We'll stick with cover three. We'll get uh, Chris Carter rushing in. Actually, I might manual him. Get out. Oh! No, darn it. Hmm. We got sucked in pretty hard. I guess I could have pat decommitted. I don't really do the commit stuff, but maybe it would have been good there. I had, I don't I've kind of neglected that. Cuz you can run commit or pass commit. It might be good to pass commit on uh if they run play action. Wow, oh, here we go. Yes. There we go. Juke him. Yes, let's go. Let's go. That was sick. We got jukes. Yep, man, that's why we got that's why we got our linebackers. We got those. Thank you. Thank you. He underthrew that really badly. He made it a lot easier. And Banks is good. Banks is he has it I don't know. I feel like other guys have been making plays like Rogers and Gunn. Banks is still good though. Okay, let's uh, instead of let's run more double option. I'd like to run this now, but since we have speed, I do prefer to run the more realistic play, which is the QB keeper option. So this is Lawrence to the left. I'm going to fan, actually, and give up the middle here. Yeah, they, okay. Ah, darn it. That, I guess I should have just taken it with feathers. I could have gone up the middle, but this guy's swimming. There just really wasn't much good. Or I should have tried, maybe tried to juke this guy right here. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Let's, let's do it. Uh, what, where is it? I think I passed already, right? No, no, no. You know what? I kind of want to run, actually, P.A. Reed. I think it's in this formation, though. I, I, want, I just want to get some more yardage. I don't want to end up with a third and long like I did before. I know I said I'll be willing to throw the uh, the screen. I mean, excuse me, the post if it comes to it. But I, I don't want to do that if I don't have to. Oh, gosh. Nope, nope, nope. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. That's too bad. Man, they just, they didn't get sucked in. I guess I could have handed it off there. I would have been better handing it off. Would have been better off. So let's do this thing. Split and drag. Let's go strong slots. Strong slot, I guess it is. Okay, it puts my number two guy in slot. That's okay, though. So here, Feathers is boosted right now. Why? Has he made a good play? 
Throw accuracy plus two. Yeah, I don't know. Why Why would that be? I haven't made a good pass yet. So we'll see what happens. If it's zone, I'll have to go Hayden. Yes. Oh, too tall. I did precision high now. But can you blame me? There's a dot in the middle, Roman. That's too bad. I, I should have ran more upfield. Mm. He didn't get that high off the ground either. Okay, well. Hey, what else did we have there? Okay, we kind of had... Uh, who's that out there? That's uh, that's Leonard. Leonard running deep. Yeah, I mean, that was the right call. I just didn't use her very well. I mean, it's not just the issue of jumping ability. I did not use her that well. Yeah, it was a good... It was The accuracy was there. It was for, there for sure. So, I guess we can try to coffin corner a little bit. Okay, that's pretty good. At least it doesn't, really doesn't give him anywhere to go. Almost got the strip. Okay. Stick. We'll stick with this. If this is getting beat up in the air, we might switch to uh, we might switch to nickel. Oh, you know I should try. I should try to jump the snap to you. Ah, oh, gosh. Get off him. No. Oh man, there. That's frustrating. I couldn't. I guess I didn't cut in in enough. Yeah, I just had to get over there. I didn't feel like I had enough time to really like run all the way over here. But that's what I would have needed to make a play on that ball. If I'm not careful, they're going to end up with the momentum pretty quick here. I mean, if they get a field goal, I think they'll retake momentum. So I've got to be careful of that. Okay, let's get Skinner back in here. They're really not running it, though. Oh, here we go. Yes, planted. Planted. You can kind of, I abuse the system here. See how I'm running the same direction as the QB? If you just get close to him, you can nail him like that. It's definitely kind of a, I don't know, bug-ish. But, hey, they do to me, so I'll return the fave. Okay, we'll play McDonald. We'll play deep middle. It's one of the hardest pass coverages to play, but, uh, oh, man. Wow, he's getting planted. Plant a tree for tomorrow. How's he feeling? Of course, okay, minus two. Awareness, minus seven. Wow, he's pretty rattled, actually. Minus two. He Carry minus six. I mean, this guy could fumble in, in, uh, after a while here. I'd be looking for that. Okay, let's go with... Uh, let's see. I'm going to call... I just want to be in this formation. I want to do cover three zone. I couldn't find it. We might need to. Yeah, it's true. It's really true. formation here. That's a great jump. Darn it. Okay, there we go. Now, do they really have anybody there? They kind of had this guy. That's a pretty nice uh, little route combo, actually. Because my corner's pulled deep. This guy looked pretty open. Nice job, Chris Carter. In coverage. Oh, no, wait. They just put the camera on him. It was Slade Powell. Chris Carter was there in spirit, though. He was there in spirit. I, I want to run this cover, too, but gosh, I get roasted every time I do it. Okay, let's play. We'll play McDonald. We'll play deep. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. So, yeah, I, I'm going to stick with... Yeah, let's go. Let's stick with this 3-3-5 split, cover three. I'm not going to read too much about the QB run. Ah, though, you know what? We'll have this guy spy, because actually if I if I hold him here, I could keep him out of field goal range. So let's do that. Okay, there we go. Yes! Get on that! Yes! Oh, we got we got let's go, let's go. We're not too fast. Stretch it out! Stretch it out! That was good. Excellent. Wow, the speed differential is huge. So who's this guy that catches me? Oh, uh, that must be a receiver. 80. Yeah, let's see what speed he has. Let's just get a little, let's trigger ourselves a bit. 87. Yeah, dude, that was nice. Right, you know what? The dot linebackers, though, it's only on interceptions. It's not on uh, fumbles. Although I could, I could simply make it again. Okay, it's not that. What's the formation that we wanted? I thought it was, I thought it was this one. Yeah, there it is. Let's run it. Um, yeah, it's 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 only on interceptions. But what I could do is I could make it so it's just the exact same sign on uh, on uh, fumbles as well. 
What did I mess up here? Like, how did I screw that up? What? What's? Do I have my uh, my audibles wrong? What's going on here? PA read, a flinker screen. Oh, I hit the wrong one. It's that. It's that one. It's B. I hit X. Whoops. So let's call. Let's do it again. Eat the timeout. Yeah, look, they're in dime, so I'd rather run PA read here and potentially run it, hand it off to Rouse. So there we go. It's B. Yeah, they shift back. Okay. So we're kind of looking at these edge guys and those DBs on the left here. Oh, they had one blitz. Oh, look at this. Rob your house. Let's go. That's good stuff. I like how the guys were in the Santa hat. It's probably 95 degrees in Fresno right now. Hey, you know, we haven't ran that in a while. Let's do it. Let's do it. Where's Mesh? Mesh here? Yeah, I think it's in here. Where is it, though? Why I can't find it. There we go. Far side, so we got Wiley running the deep uh, corner. So yeah, we'll see what we can do here. We'll see what we can do hanging in the pocket. Okay, no great jump. That's good. Oh, that's dangerous. Yeah, that could have been picked. I should have thrown it way earlier. I just really didn't have anybody. Ah, man. Yeah, I just tried that way too late. So I could have gone to Wiley and tried to rocket it. They're very fortunate. Yeah, it's it's so passing is so darn hard against max coverage. I should yeah, no, it's true. I I, I guess I should just take off running when they're in max coverage, because it really works. It works great. Uh, you know what? Let's bring Wiley up. Come on, Wiley, dude, Wiley, you jacker. We tried, man. So. I could have stayed in the pocket. I just, I knew Wiley's a man, so I knew he'd get loose eventually. What did he do? How did he get hung up so much? Oh, he just has to go around like eight guys to get his route. And you know what? That happens a lot with uh, that formation. So third and long again. Let's just, let's, let's run. Let's run PA read flow. We'll see what we get. If it's a man, we really could have Wiley get loose here. Yeah, I know. I just don't want to risk it. We have momentum. I just want to. I just want to stay conservative here. We've had things go kind of crazy so far. It's been kind of bad. Oh no, he didn't. He stopped. Okay, we had uh, offsides. I couldn't select him. I've had been having issues with this lately. Now, I've been having issues. Okay, what happened? So I try to select him. I throw it. He runs the other way. Yeah. Well, we got third and 11. I think, you know, it's time to do what Coach Bob prescribed, which is the split end drag. So we'll give this a look. Bennett's tall, too. He's a 6'5", right? Great jump. Man, I was trying to prevent that. Ah, darn it. I was too worried about the rush. I was too, way too worried about the rush. And Wiley, he didn't have a lot of room, so that's probably a low percentage. Things are just not going that smoothly. Defense is good. Offense is not good. Yeah, sorry, Audrophotomus. I thought the chat was going to be ready, so you're probably expecting to see that emote. It, was, it wasn't quite ready. It's almost ready, though. It's a very easy fix. It's just it would have taken me about 10 minutes or so, and I didn't want to do that. Okay, we're on the board. We are on the board. It's kind of true. Even in the whack, stuff is never easy. The easiest game I've had to date has to be Oklahoma. That's a good idea. Yeah, let me work that in next uh, next play because I don't have any audibles for that. Oh, here he goes. At the yeah, I guess we might have to spy. This, so this guy actually have speed. A little bit. Pretty medium, but he runs. So I bet you know what a blitz would probably take uh, take place though of of a spy. Straight on safety zone, crossfire. Let's go crash three. From their own 36 -yard line. Washington can move. He's not a starter though. It's Lenny James. I could put in James just for uh, since for just the scheme fit of that. There we go. Wow, we got in there quickly. That was Lenny James. Right now, who's that? That is him. Oh, he's inside. 
Yeah, that's right. We have Chris Carter. Wait a minute. Oh, he's he's stunned it in. It's so funny how that works. All right, let's go here. Oh, not that one. I want to go here and look at. Uh, we'll do middle slant three. I don't think this is the usual one we, we do. Well, this is going to end the quarter actually. Yeah, he did. There are three quarters remaining, and our score here. Fresno it's okay. We have momentum. I think we'll get rolling. I think we'll get rolling on offense too. I, it's just I'm gonna have to pass. It looks like running hasn't been that great. I also haven't kept it enough on running, so maybe it could be that too. So let's see. This is I, I'm enjoying playing middle of the zone. They haven't, I haven't gotten attacked too much. Oh, I tried to hit stick him. I tried, man. I whiffed it though. McDonald didn't quite get there. Yeah, that was a good play. We'll give him that. So let's go with uh, we'll do a little more aggressive here. We'll play one high. One high, uh, man. Okay, they're in jumbo, so they could be could be going for a pass play here. I wouldn't be surprised, actually. They put the receiver wing, so I had to stay back. I can't bite. Yep, there it is. Oh, they went to it. Oh, yes! Look at great, great! Spin him. Nice. He had position. That I bet that was pressure. Oh, yeah, look at that. CPU. I, this is... If you pick a picture of voice bubble above his head, I would rather, he's saying, I would rather throw a pick than get sacked. So let's do that. Let's throw it to a guy that's not open. Great time to come up with his first interception of the season, Kirk. Every possession comes right. in this game. And with the score being this close, that interception can... Let's run... Where is the... Where is it? P.A. Reed. Right. So they'll start this drive at midfield. Yeah, he's running parallel. That's a strange one. That is a strange one. He was. Number 12 with he's. Wide receivers. So we're going to fan. I don't know. I guess I could hand it off if that guy gets blocked out there. He start. He started to. That's why I handed it off. So how does that look? Leonard or what? Is that Leonard on the in the slot? I think it is. That's not too bad. Two yards. The offense has just been a rough go. So let's run split and drag from here. See if we can complete something short. Feathers is back down to earth. Bennett. Fresno State comes to the line with three wide. Curl me. Oh no, he threw it way downfield. Okay, we got lucky there. Ooh, <laughs> almost stayed in bounds. We got pretty lucky. Not not a good pass really. I wanted a more sideline. He threw it like straight out. But Bennett's a big dude, so that worked out. Oh, you know what I want to run? Let's do the old. Uh, let's do this one. This is a fun one. Where's that? Double tight end outs. This is such a goofy looking play. That's yeah, true. That's true. I might block Jensen here for that reason. We'll do a semi max. Nice little ball out there to Hayden. That's pretty good. That's nice too because look, Rouse keeps that linebacker in, or DB, or whoever it was. Keeps that guy in. Gets him loose. That's nice. It is Basil Hayden. It's making me thirsty. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. Looking to throw. Look. Get in, Dudley. That might be his first touchdown. <laughs> that sign is once again relevant. <laughs> uh, so the signs are the gifts that keep on giving. Because they mean different things on different uh, different points in time. Feathers are dropping some dimes. Yep, just beat the rush. Rouse kind of open. Rouse would have been a good option there. But they just really cleared out. Look at the turn up field. I mean, a lot of this is on Dudley. His lack of recovery speed. I mean, he, he just gets right up field, turns immediately. That's really nice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking too. And he hits the PAT. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summary. Kicker looks like he's ready All to right. this one off. Things are looking better. Ten point lead. Kicks off. Rushing. 
Spicer fields it in the end zone. Oh, got decked. Okay, two. Let's let's do, keep the pressure on a little bit with some blitzes. Crossfire. We'll change the crossfire. Crossfire three, crash three. I just I have such trepidation about calling blitz where it's too deep, man. A bit whether in any like a too deep zone that just really scares me. Nice way to hold the edge there. Yeah, Lemon is is gone. He I think I think he was a JUCO actually. So he uh let's send Slade Powell on the blitz. Monsters rebuck. Yeah, he he I think he came in as a JUCO, so he only played like three seasons. So yeah, Miss Cleo is no longer with us. He's moved on. There's a missed tackle. Why did he say that? Did the QB almost get sacked or what? That's interesting. You hear that? As he threw it, they said there was a missed tackle. So it basically counted this as a broken tackle. That looks a little painful. And of course, just a perfect dime right to the guy. Helmet in the face. Oh, he shed it too. Oh, man. Yes, yeah, Skinner. I think Skinner is a, he's a junior or senior. He's only a junior, actually. Look at all the guys that could go pro. Edwards. Greg Wright, probably not. But Edwards, McDonald. Basically, almost every starter could go pro. Lenny James. James and Marquise will probably be... Uh, they will probably be 90s by the end of the season. I could have just so many guys go pro. It could be pretty interesting. Three wide. I kind of want to go with regular cover, cover three nickel here, actually. Yeah, but if guys get numbers, they'll go pro, man. Or even if they don't, look at, uh, who was it? Jake Jordy. <gasps> Let's go. Let's go. Wow, look at that. Interceptions on the career. That is why. That is why. Yeah, say Jake Jordy. That's wild. So was it, inter that was career interceptions for, uh, for, for uh, for Ben Jacobs, and he's doing a lot of that. Okay, this is probably a handoff. They're just so thin. I'm gonna have to make a read on where to run, though. Oh goodness! Wow, can't get away from that. Can't get away from that. I tried, and you get sucked in. See, if there wasn't that suction, I would have been fine, or fine. I would have been better. Yeah, it's a big game for him already. Sale. Oh, let's check this out. I'm really liking these running back uh, combinations. So in theory, I feel like either Hayden or Rouse should be open here. Oh, he wasn't as open as I thought. What did I see here? Oh, he was kind of hiding. I didn't really recognize this as two guys. I just saw one because they were both on each other, and then I threw it. So let's see who else got open. So Hayden actually kind of was open. He's running his route right into a flashing dot, though, which is not ideal. So that was – was that man or his own? Actually kind of looked like man. We got two out of it. All right, third and eight. This, I think, is prime – Prime time for uh, for Old Faithful, partially because we kind of want to just get at least a few yards to set up a, a more accurate or a more reliable field goal. I think it's probably reliable from here anyhow, but no need to chance it. We can we can give it our due diligence here. I'm hoping Wiley gets open here. Yep, there we go. Oh, got a little boost. Got a little boost. Let's go, Wiley, get in. Oh, so close. I stood up. Oh man, that was that was awesome. So that look at the look at the the animation here. It's so this is a strange one, because he kind of stops and then and then rushes rushes up. Now that's all computer. That's not a user catch. Just for the perfect timing, puts this puts that guy. Uh, and the, okay, ah, Dudley, Dudley, you could have blocked. Well, he's no Chaston, I guess. He could have blocked that dude, and then this would have been a touchdown. How do we get tackled in the corner like that so often? How does that happen? Yeah, it was still a work. That was, that, was, that was pretty nice. I mean, it's still a great play. Okay, I kind of want I just want to hand this off. 
There we go. Nice. Oh man. That frightens me just thinking about it. Quarterback's neat. In one of these games, I forget which, quarterback sneak was a pretty legitimate form of offense. Because you could put a quarterback that had decent speed and carry, uh, and you just call you call QB sneak, and it was almost like just a, a dive offense. You could kind of read where the push was, and uh, you could actually run outside. If you had good speed, you could just run outside, and guys couldn't catch up. It was pretty cheesy. The quarterback has to get that interception. Yeah, I'm trying to think if that's what it was. It might have been like 05, actually, which is more like that was, I think, Chris Leak. Those are Chris Leak days. I'm trying to think who was the super awesome player in 05. I really don't remember. I think it was Jason White. Let's get out there. Yeah, I think it was Jason White and Oklahoma was pretty much unstoppable. Oh, USC was really good, too. They had Mike Williams. Oh man! Oh, get there! Oh wow, we almost got the uh, got the strip. Okay, so third and short. We're definitely going to go on a blitz here. Let's send Slade in again. Little slant. Ray smoke. Let's run some Ray smoke. Let's see what that's about. So McDonald's back. This is very very vulnerable as far as a pass play. I mean, Marquise may not even get off his block, so I basically have to guard this whole right side with one dude. But I'm down for the challenge. Okay. Ah. Ooh, wow. We got lucky there. What happened? Incomple uh, inaccurate due to pressure, I suppose. No warp. Wow. Barely missed it. I barely missed it, too. Got lucky. And the pressure got there. Yeah, it's had that pressure look. That looked pretty good. So Jacobs just kind of sheds that guy. Frustrating thing is he probably wouldn't have gotten the sack if, he, if the quarterback held onto the ball. Hmm. Yeah, just a really bad pass there. Oh, you know what, too? I think Skinner Skinner was on a – or pardon me, not Skinner. It's uh, Chris Carter. I think was in his own blitz. Okay, I guess it's not a blitz. He, for some reason, runs in and then back out. Why? What play was that? Hold on. We're right here, right? Uh, I don't even remember now. So that's a strange one, but I'm, basically I'm thinking the guy in coverage, Chris, if it was Chris Carter, probably forced that pass high. The Burm 87, what's up, man? Napier quit? Oh, that sucks. No, I saw the thing about him on... Oh, here we go. Smith, 98 speed. Hoof it out. Hoof it out. Got those. That's too, that's too bad. Because it really seemed like he just didn't know what he was saying. Well, yeah, I know, right? That sucks, man. I mean, I, obviously, I don't know the, all this, the whole situation, but from what I read, so he's made comments in the past then? Because here, here's what was weird, and I don't want to get into, like, some big discussion or debate here. I just thought it was strange because I read, okay, Grant Napier says that all lives matter, which is clearly, I mean, I don't think there's any question about that. That is an anti-BLM statement, whether you know what it means or not. That's what it is. I, now I figured he didn't know what it meant. And that's kind of what it sounded like. It sounded like he didn't know what it meant. However, I thought it was also strange that him saying that, DeMarcus Cousins asked him what he thought about BLM, I think. I think that's what it, I think that's what it was. I think I saw it on Twitter. I think I read the thread. I thought it re I read the thread. And his response is literally to DeMarcus Cousins asking him. So is that some kind of bait or something? Like, what was up with that? That was such a strange one. I mean, I think it's too bad if he really didn't know what he was saying. But also, it's not super excusable either. Like, you should know, if you're going to open your mouth about that kind of stuff, you should know the basics of what's going on. And, dude, that is the longest scramble ever. And knowing what All Lives Matter means, you should know that. Like, there's really not a good, uh, there's not really a good excuse for not knowing that. But still, if he didn't know it, I don't know if that's fireable. Oh, the announcer, so apparently the announcer, see, that's jacked up then. So is, was he baiting him then? He might have been baiting him. Oh, we'll play deep. So the announcer for the Kings, I guess, got fired or volunteered, like, oh, here we go. Yeah, oh, I got there too. Darn it. 
Yeah, the announcer for the uh, the Kings, Grant Napier, apparently either quit or was asked to resign. Or maybe he resigned on his own, uh, his own will. Oh, dude, that's messed up. That's messed up. So it's DeMarcus Cousins, it almost sounds like he's trying to get him fired then. But here's another thing, too. Oh, my gosh, could he get two? Might get two. Yeah, so it's... <sighs> I mean, the, the way he said all lives matter did not – I'm not trying to make excuses. Like, you got to know what you're saying. It just doesn't seem like the way he said it would be the spirit of what it actually means. Ah, uh, that's too bad. And I'm biased because I, I liked him. I thought he was a good announcer. Now I don't know anything about him personally, so I'm not just saying, oh, you know, you should be able to say what you want and not worry about it. Yeah, da, 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 da. I, I don't know about that. I'll start it. I kind of I I ran into that, but uh, that's too bad. That's too bad, man. I liked him. Again, as an announcer, personally, I don't—I didn't know anything about him. Let's go, Old Faithful here. They line up at the 45. Ball on the Second down. Yard line. Yeah, that's an interesting one. I mean, it's too bad that uh, his job is collateral damage for that kind of thing, but that's a really interesting kind of predicament. Oh my gosh! Nope. Oh, okay, we'll take off running then. He goes out of bounds. The okay, okay. Well, then in that context, he shouldn't have said that. In that context, if he knows he's interacting with people that he has friction with already, you got to be smarter than that when you open your mouth. So i got to say I don't have a lot of sympathy. Obsidian, what's up? It is football time. It is time for the oblong spheroid. Yeah, I can see that. Well, that's that's too bad, and that's not really cool. That's really not cool. I did like him as an announcer, so that's too bad, but uh, there we go. Dudley is coming up big with that little route right there. Wait, are we in a hurry-up situation? I saw the clock flash. Okay, there's a minute 19 left. I got talking about Grant Napier and lost track of time. How's it going, Obsidian? How's the workday going? Back at work. Everything's all good. Oh, crossers, here we go. Oh, what? How? Hold on. That's not, that's not, should be accurate. Wheel time? I'm well, glad to hear it, Obsidian. I thought it was pretty clear that he made it. So we could run the wheelie. Okay, you know what? The, the the fans are calling for it. Let's run. Let's run the play where it could be a thing. Okay? No, no promises. No promises at all. Where's the darn formation? There it is. Uh, where are we at? Flanker screen. So the interesting thing about this route is the see the wheel route, he actually can get hung up on blocks, and he won't run the route potentially. So we'll see what happens. If they blitz hard, I'm going Rouse. Otherwise, I guess Wiley. I really don't know. Ah, uh, darn it, darn it. Okay, we'll go with it. Oh, it's out of bounds. We're getting out of the way of that. Cross field. There really was no good option there. I mean, Wiley was not open at all. There's really nobody's open. Leonard probably was the correct, uh, the correct read there. So we tried a wheelie, and it was open. It was open. What do we want to do here? Two timeouts. Let's go. Uh, we'll go double option. Keeper right. Now we'll go on a keeper, keeper left. We want some space. Yeah, inbounds helps on passes. It pass. It helps. It helps with their inbounds. Okay, this is an interesting one. If it looks good for Robbie Rouse, I'll I'll hand it off. It did not. It did not. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh no, that's bad. Well, we tried. I mean, this really it was the way to go. I just that guy got in the way. I did it probably too late. The thing is, you have to do it late to get that guy to commit. It just didn't work out. Well, it was a fumble, but we got it back. <laughs> so here, I'm kind of thinking we can just look to get a field goal range. Uh, let's look at PA Reed here. Now, this is a good one. This is a good one because Jensen can hold the good defense. Oh, you know what? I kind of run this, like, here. I, oh, you know what? Oh, no, 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 no. We didn't want that. Okay, so we got decked. We ate it. This guy got decked. Who's the who's the right guard these days? I forget names. Harris. Oh wait a minute. Is that that's our no Wilson Wilson's our guy, our snipe guy. That's too bad. So at the last second there I was trying to go to Rouse. So what do we got? What do we got? 47 yard line. We can't kick it from here. Uh, we have to punt. Because something goes wrong. Okay, they're not calling timeout though, so we'll let the sucker run out. We'll just take. Uh, yeah, I, well, actually, no, I tried to. I actually tried to hand it off. I tried to hit eight the last second, and it didn't. It, it didn't hand off. I did it too late. Oh, it's too far for a field goal, unfortunately. If I had, if I had mega wind at the back, 
I could try field goal. If there ha if there was like 15 mile an hour wind at the back, I would try field goal. They didn't snap the ball in time. I think I lose a little bit of momentum for the uh, for the delay game. Let's see if this actually goes down a bit. Yeah, I lost just a just a shade of momentum there. At least they didn't call timeout. Uh, I mean, I could try it. They wouldn't go in though. It's still a bit too far. So with this, we can try to corner it. Go down a bit. Like that. Up a bit. There we go. I think that might do it. I don't know. We'll see. Hey, look at that. Right on the line. Didn't really gain anything. Would have been better off just let, having him fair catch it at the 10. So let's go cover two, man. Wherever that is. There we go. That's true. Could have done that. We'll play back. Powell. Powell's in there. Why is Powell... Oh, he... Oh, right, because... Uh, yeah, he's he's the next man up. A little confusing. Oh wow, here we go. Brought down at the 29 yard line. All right, good half. As they head to the locker room, good half. It's been a one-sided affair. The score. It has been. It didn't start out great, but we got it going. Stanford, nothing. It was a good half for bad offense. You know, work out the kinks. Only 113 yards of offense. We got to have more offensive. Uh, we got to get more yards. We need to get at least 300 yards. About ready to start this second half. Start yeah, take that, you and your brainiacs. Ward fields it at the two. Time once again for this offense to okay. back out and start another drive. Cover two. We'll try this. Cover two in the linebacker spy. This is a really gnarly. Wow, four turnovers. Actually, I want to check halftime stats. Individual. Feather, 7 for 14, 86. That's not that good. That's not good efficiency. Rouse, 6 for 25. He should get more carries. We straight up need with 14 passes to 6 runs. When Feathers is your QB, that's not that good. So we, do, we do basically need to run it more. This is a very vulnerable in the kind of 10 to 15 yard range of passing, so... Man, oh man. He, he threw it right at the teeth. Wow, Greg Wright could have picked it off. Let's run that again. To see how it goes. See if they adjust. Play fake. Looks. He'll dump it short. Incomplete. He was. He couldn't get his head around quickly enough. Let's go with dime here. Dime cover three. And we'll just kind of dare him to find a hole in the zone. Oh, not go for a sack actually. Let's try Tito. Sets up the Darn it. Huggins. Actually, let's come in anyways. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, man, I saw it. So I do check uh, I do check the Madden and... Is there a penalty or something? Oh, no, it's just the... They're waiting for an animation. I do check the subreddits for Madden and for NCA, and there was one today on Madden. So in Madden, it's known for this animation where... On a tip pass, the ball can kind of start bouncing on your helmet, and if it bounces very lightly, it'll actually kind of trail your player. Let's just get like 10 yards to go down. I need more offensive yards. And the guy ran like a 15-yard route. The ball bounced off of his head, and he ran all the way out of the back of the end zone, fully like 80 yards with the ball just bouncing on his head. It was pretty funny. All right, let's see what we can get here. We just want to hang in the pocket, see what we can get. Oh, look at that. Oh, you know, here, this is interesting. Ah, uh, darn it. That's too bad. Wentworth down. So I wonder if I throw this earlier. He is open. Maybe he can keep it more sideline. I don't know. Let's check our line depth and make sure that we're good to go. Who's in there? 77. Let's make sure 77 is good. I think we have it done so it, we're, we should be fine. Roddy Brown. Yeah, Rod Roddy's good to go. Center 82. Yeah, he's basically the next man up, so we're good. I'd like to run Pia Reed flow, and let's look into running it. Oh, gosh. Okay, so I guess this is just part of their scheme for this game, is that they're stacking the box against this formation. And it's kind of blowing it up, because blitzes do do uh, blow this up pretty well. Okay, let's gonna run it here. Oh, gosh. There we go. There we go. That's good. Oh, was it on the pass? When did everybody start falling over? Yeah, sometimes they do that. That is a thing they do. Middle choice. Let's check this out. 
Okay, they stack the box just the same against two tight ends as they do four wide. Hayden, Hayden could get loose on a drag here. We'll probably look for Hayden. If safeties come up, I'll probably go Bennett. I, I would, I would check one blind to Bennett. Guys, get open. Oh no, Hayden, get there. Get a block. Man, oh man. So we really got some pretty big rush. Didn't get hit. The QB did not get hit. That's nice. Really nice throw under pressure. I would have expected that, man. Like, Feather's passes have really surprised me in a positive way. So let's look at let's look at slot whips. Okay, I think I'll probably audible here since they're in super dime. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Actually, no. We'll we'll stick with it. Because they did an audible. Look how they're how they're red guy. They're they have a bunch of red dudes because of that audible. We'll stick with this. There we go. Yeah, come back to the ball. Nice. Okay, got hit by a dot. No bad repercussions, though. Yeah, that looked good. That looked good. He snapped the ball, came back nicely. That's good. So this is a good drive so far. I'm enjoying this. Corner sit, mash, switch. What else we got in the hopper? Oh, let's run P.A. Reed out of this. Okay, they're still coming out in their 3-4. Hmm. The, okay, if that left linebacker comes in, this is a handoff. Otherwise, it's a keeper. Okay, he he went backwards. Nice. Okay, we tried to try to try to stiff arm. Ben at o'clock. Well, we could we could cook something up for Bennett. Where is he? He's number five. Let's get him doing something here. Whip under. If this is man. It's a touchdown to Bennett. I could yeah I could do a traditional screen too. It's true. Hmm, this is a tough one. If this is zone, this is going to be very hard to complete anything. God, oh, darn it, darn it. No, 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 get rid of it. I meant to, and I'll tell you what I was looking at. When I go here, I'm actually trying to run left. I tried, I, I took a step left, and then he just, I think it's because I quit running, he goes back into like a passing stance. And that kind of stopped his momentum, because I actually have good momentum going left. Like, I could have run here easily. That's too bad. Hail Mary, yeah, you know. I could run Hail Mary. Let's look at this for me. Wait a minute. Let's look here. Oh, no, no, hold on. Let's look here, and let's look at P.A. Reed from here. Second, Second ten. down and 10 to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. <laughs> okay, last time we got rushed up the middle, and it was really bad. I'm bringing this guy over. Two, one, boom. Okay. Okay, he, that looks pretty open. Juke him in. Yes. Oh, I wanted more fall forward. How did the right side look? Okay, Hayden actually got... I would... If I roll right, I could maybe throw that to Hayden, potentially. Hoping... Ah, uh, you know what I'm seeing now? It, it's better to leave Jensen over here because the idea is for him, for his route, you want to keep... his this Jensen's route will keep these closer up defenders. It'll hold them in so that Hayden has more space in front of him. But because I moved him over, he kind of outran Hayden. Not uh, not ideal. Did somebody dislocate their thumb? Honestly, you didn't notice. Yikes. Oh, earlier, yes, yes. Okay, at least he's only out for the game. That's good. He's one of my better players. Third and five. Let's dial this one up. Where's the... F there we go, flanker screen. From the eight-yard line. Okay, the, I'm going to switch to P.A. Reed and probably hand it off, actually. P.A. Reed, there we go. Okay, they go to the right side. It'll, I'll, it'll be a read on these linebackers, all that DB, the guys on the left, basically. Does someone move, please? Two count. Ah, darn it. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I got so lucky there. And I did this before. I meant to throw it to Robbie Rouse. But I need to look. I need to check this out now. How is that open? Man, that's a pretty good route. I need to look into that. So this is clearly zone. If I throw it at the break, guys, uh, these guys aren't there. I got lucky there. I think it's because I threw it to Leonard. I think if it's anybody else, I probably don't. Yeah, it's an angle, yeah. All right, that was the, the yardage drive we are looking for. This is kind of the game we are looking for. I didn't get the opening drive touchdown that I wanted to establish momentum right off, but our defense has really stepped up. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. 
Ward feels it in the end zone. So the offense takes Yeah, that was nice. I'll have to see maybe in practice mode. I might have to run that a few times and see what I can find. Okay, it is 31 zip. I just wonder when should I start taking guys out. I'm thinking if I get one more score or gets to the fourth quarter. He drops back. Surveys the field. Here we go. We actually can pick this. Ah, oh, we tried. Way underthrown. We really didn't throw it that far either. I mean, that's what a. Uh, 20, what is that, 15 yard line? 15 to the 50 ish. That's really not that long of a pass. I, I wonder though, because I was kind of playing off, off this guy, I wonder if he throws kind of a bullet, he probably could have put more air under it. Now, if it was tighter coverage, he might have put more air under it, potentially. Let's try and cover one man. Let's see how this goes. I think I will, man. Well, man, deep Powell. Oh wow! Wow! Yeah, he's not throwing. Any, he's not putting any touch on these passes because this guy kind of has. He kind of has a position. If he can drop it on the outside shoulder, that's a good gain. But the guy's not. His passes aren't good. Let's run this dime. Uh, you know what? We can go. We'll go actually run the same play. Try to run some some different stuff. See how it goes. Okay, Banks, we're on this tight end. We'll play outside just to cover the run in case. Okay, that's good. Made that easy. Oh, no. Darn it. Perfect pass. So so he put some air under this one, right? He put more arc on it. Yeah. Yeah, he did. He put lots of arc. I think it's because the coverage is tight. Let's go here and go with that cover two. Cover two spy. Where may I find that? First down, 10 to go. Okay, we'll play we'll play corner deep. So this is too deep. So this is pretty hard coverage. This is pretty high difficulty type of thing right here. I'll actually hand it off. We'll run that again. Oh, wow. There he goes. With the spy, too. What happened? Jacobs just gets a... <sighs> Jacobs is the spy. I can't think... It, oh wait. Is that Chris Carter? That's Jacobs. That's too bad. That's uh, exactly what the spy is supposed to prevent. Let's run a blitz instead. That's probably more effective. We'll do Storm Red. Now this is a two deep again, which is very dicey. We'll play McDonald the deep guy. Oh, look, how, look how vulnerable this pass defense is. This is, if we don't get pressure, we're toast. But it's okay. We're trying some different stuff. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, I got sucked in. I got sucked in. And also, too, I shouldn't have been strafing. I was strafing. If I wasn't strafing, I would have ran backwards. So it was more my strafe that got me there. I didn't let go of the trigger, the strafe trigger. Well, we knew that was a possibility. And they're lining up for the PAT. Oh yeah, it's okay. It's okay. We're uh, we're up by quite a bit. Hopefully, we can get another score here. Probably one more drive, fourth quarter, or if we score, we'll take uh, we'll start seven guys out. Yeah, you know, we like to maintain the illusion. See, was there a screen in here? There is. That's not the one I wanted, though. Flanker screen. Yeah, let's just let's run this little little doodad here. Okay. This looks like it has potential. We'll go ahead and run it. Ooh, potential. Let's go. Perfect play to beat the D. Hoof it out, Bennett. Oh, broke the tackle. Let's go. Hoof it out. Yes. Yes. That was sick. That was good, man. That was nice. That's a nice little stat pad for Feathers, too. Perfect execution. They're really just perfect call for that D, apparently. Heavy in the middle. They rush. We get a block out here. That's uh, Leonard, right? Look at Leonard making the play. Leonard making the play. 
Sealing it off. Look, he seals off multiple guys. He basically blocks three guys. He blocks the guys blocking. He, he impedes the dot. This guy has to run around as well. I mean, Hayden runs out there, right? Hayden runs out there, seals off the other dude. He seals off the dot. And then, break tackle to finish it off. That's nice. Yeah, that might. That might. We might have a budding quarterback controversy, depending on the mid-season development. That's good, man. And just like that, I bet we have 300 offense or maybe 290. 242. That's oh, less than I thought. It's okay. All right. Maybe it's if we get the ball back, we can sub out. I didn't expect to score that quickly. Oh, here we go. Yes. Yes. All right, we'll do this one more time here. Yeah, we got him. Yeah, so who, who got that? Who forced that fumble? So he's got the ball. Skinner? Oh, here it's Travis Brown. He actually might have been down. Let's run this play here before they can review it. They line up in the shotgun. Oh, that dog guy come out of came out of nowhere. They often do that. They often come out of nowhere. I would have not. I would have ran away from him. Might have been. Might have been the foot of Dudley. Stretch under. Double outs. Middle choice. Let's check this out. I just normally I run PA read flow here, but I just ran it. It's so weird how they do all those subs, man. Or unless they, they might have subbed their guys out already. Hayden. Oh, he dropped it. Darn it. Okay. Let's go with P.A. Reed. And I'll actually run it. We'll run it this way. Hmm. Okay, I'll read that right side. Both safeties are flashing. Those are linebackers, by the way. This is a little weird here. This is a strange one. Oh, no. Okay. We got that. We got that. Glad to see Robbie Rouse get on the board. It's tough. It's This is a weird one to throw to the receivers. It's a strange play. I mean, what? how, how does it go? Yeah, yeah. If, okay, if it's zone, you could throw that post. It's just in, in goal line. You don't have a lot of room to complete those. I could practice that against the uh, run that in practice mode though. That'd probably be a good idea. He splits the upright for the extra point. And now we're gonna take a right, look. right. So God, I don't have replay anymore. Um, yeah, that's that's a tough one because the I mean you, I, I just have to read the D B. If it's man, like if it's if it's zone, I think the DBs don't play back as far in the goal line situation. If it's man, the DB wide will run back pretty far, but then that also implies that the sideline guy will have will be guarded as well because he'll have a man on him. Let's see, what's our D look like this? That looks okay. I don't know. Let's see how bad this is. So we have one guy out of place. Gates, we can live with that. Stanford lines up with a split backfield. They hand it off. Okay, Greg Wright's there. He's taken down at the 23. It, it is true. It is similar. It's second and seven. Ball in the 23. Oh, you know, that's another thing I want to do too before I forget. Let's put Simon at backup and then remass. There we go. Okay. Oh. The Cardinal. Line up in a split back. I'll have to manual this guy since we messed up his hot route. Oh, I wasn't even trying to hot route. Okay. And he's tackled at the 30. Let's see if we can get off the field here. I've been liking the cover three blitzes out here. Crash three. Third, third down. Mm -hmm. Okay, Greg Wright. We'll play in with him a bit. This, these guys, the way they're spread out is just so strange. Okay. Oh, we tried to bit I tried to hit stick. Remember that hit stick that Wright had is out of hand. I need I want to recreate that. I've wanted to recreate that ever since. Where the defense came after them 
and those linemen held him long enough for the quarterback to throw for a first down. Play fake with the throw. Okay, we're there. Oh, he dropped it. Capers was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll make it second down. Second and ten. Okay, let's go here. We'll run the middle slant three. Where's the buck? Where monsters rebuck? Okay, so who's in coverage? Travis Brown. That looks pretty good. We'll play Greg right here. This is a very soft spot in the D right here. Okay, they're running it. Nice. That was clutch. A broken tackle there would have been pretty bad. Let's go regular nickel here. So how bad does this look? We're okay. Who's this? Rushing. Okay, we look pretty good. We'll play. We'll play Powell. Stanford comes out with an eye formation. Kind of play the first down marker here. Come in a bit. Oh, here he goes. Oh, no! Nice. Oh, look at that. Get on it or don't. First down. Ah, darn it. So who got this? Who got the the first fumble there? Wow, he just he he juked me pretty good. But why don't I just why don't I engage? I don't know. I'm in plenty of proximity. Fega, Michael Fega making plays. That's good. He doesn't get out there a lot. I think next year he starts though. Yeah. I think next year he starts. It's first down. I think. He's not a senior, I don't think. I think he's one year. Yeah, I think he's like a junior. Wow. Oh, it's Chinese Gates. Gates is so he's so slow. I forgot. I forgot that I didn't have any makeup speed. Oops. My chair on my headphone there. Lawrence. Now we got speed because we're running back. Oh, the ref got in my way. Dang it. I probably could have had this pick. Look at the ref right there. <laughs> oh, darn it. Okay, that should be the end of the quarter. It's okay. We don't need to get picks with our running back. Uh, we'll play cover three here. We'll just play. Maybe don't break. We'll give up a touchdown. We just don't want to give it up quickly. We'll keep things in front of us here. We'll play deep here, Alfred. This guy sure likes to run. I wonder if that... See, here. this is what I wonder. If there's some rating in the guy... Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, yeah, let's do it. I'm just all by myself out here. Oh my god, <laughs> he was out of bounds! Come on! He was out of bounds, wasn't he? I'm not going to review it, but I could have sworn. Uh, oh, not quite. You can't see it because that gray, the gray part of that selection cursor. Yeah. Well, uh, what was I going to say? How many times do we I forgot see what I was talking about. Dude, the shades. On, okay, that's the first modification of the emote so far. I like it. Gates got there. Couldn't pick it though. That's funny, dude. That's that's pretty cool. Sunglasses. Yeah, that's awesome. They, they fit perfectly on his face too. That's funny. All right, now I have to get that thing working next time. Like I said, it works. It just doesn't replace the messages like it's supposed to. So it's an easy fix, but it still was not working. It was going to take me a few minutes. We'll have that next time. I got to tease you guys. I got to give you a reason to come back to this stream. Okay, it's good tackle. Good tackle. Third and seven. Okay, we'll go. Actually, how's Dime look? Seven, nine. Dime looks pretty good for having correct personnel. So let's go with that. Cover three. We'll do cloud. What's the difference here? The offense lines up trying to convert on third down here. This looks pretty vulnerable to the corner. We'll play Powell corner here. He could take off running here. Okay, we got that. Was he? No, no, no. I thought it was. Oh, it's Lawrence. Oh, here's this is weird. Now on the on the play selection, it had Travis Brown. It had number nine in there. I'm pretty sure. Watch. 23. Oh, I had it wrong for certain. Oh, dude, I really thought it had Travis Brown in that at uh in there. Let's go. Gosh, I don't know. I'm gonna call timeout just to get my. Okay, yeah, I'm not crazy then. I don't know why it would say nine and then not do that. 
So there he is. That's weird. Cover three. And it's the offense that takes the field. I mean, I guess it, it, there could have been. Yeah, it's just, that's a strange one. Uh, we'll play middle because because it's the hardest. Now oh, there he goes. No! Oh, and he got the touchdown. He got the fall forward. Darn it! I was really hoping that we could contain. I mean, I just, ah, and he got he juked our guy. Yeah, see, he had to he had to dodge some bullets for that to happen. So we can't be too upset. They'll line up for the extra point here. And he converts the extra point. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. Okay, so we got backups in. We're going to have Simon. Oh, uh, whoops. And it's going to be what? Lawrence. That running back, it will have to get Alfred out of the way because they, they kick it right to me. Let's see if they do it again. Yep, well, not quite that time. No, we booted it. Well, that'll end all hope of a miracle. And you can say that again. This one is pretty much done. Period. Here we go. So who's out here? Jensen. O-line looks good. Guys look pretty good. This looks pretty stout for a handoff, too. Looks good. Tackle made at the 49 we'll take that. That's a nice six yard gain. Split in drag. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 49. Fresno State. Kind of hoping guys just blitz so I can go to Dudley. Simon drops to throw. Here we go. Nice little pat. Oh no. Darn it. Well, that's uh dots for you. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that'd be interesting. He has good accuracy. We'll play Gates. We just know we have to play really far back. Okay, there we go. Running it. Planted. See, that's what he's good for, though. There's a, there are advantages to having him out there, that linebacker. I just can't get sucked into play action. Okay. The field. Oh, here we go. Oh, no! <laughs> he dropped it. <laughs> oh, I got lucky there. I got no animation, though. I feel like I should have gotten an animation here. I feel like that's a, that's a jip job right there. I should have gotten an animation. I got lucky, though. I should have gone... Well, I should, I should have gone for the bat down, if I'm being honest. I should be honest. That's really, that's really what I should have been doing. The Cardinal come out with split back. There he goes. Now he's going to improvise. Right, brings him down at the 46-yard line. Well, guys, he's scrambling around out there. <sighs> I mean, is it uh, a justice? I don't know. Is it? I got a sneeze actually. Is it spy time? This guy has some pretty good feet. We saw on that play. Let's it go. Has it to the scene. I just spared you guys a pretty gnarly sneeze. Let's challenge him a bit. Spy two blitz. Where's the cover two spy? There it is. From the 42 yard line. I'll play Fega back. Who's out here? Lawrence, Gates, rushing. Okay, actually not that bad. At least they're defenders. <sighs> bad pursuit angles. Wow, the drops. I would like to think that the drops are because of uh, because of my tight coverage. I know. Can I get a jump here? This is when their star receiver can make plays. He's looking to pass. Got him. Ah, swim. No. Got him again. Wouldn't let me hit stick. I'm also using a corner. Corner shouldn't really be able to hit stick your guy like that, I guess. Think of this receiver after that play. The quarterback made a nice throw, but it was the receiver who made this happen. That's a great way to make a statement. Yep. Okay, let's go one high man. Middle plug one. This has had we've had a lot of good success with this messing up their blocking. Let's see. Okay, let's. I'm actually going to manual the linebacker here. So if they have a guy run a pass route, he's unguarded. Ah, I can't even get out there. Too slow. Too slow. Look at me. I'm trying to get out there the whole time. I'm trying to get out there and I'm like hung up on other guys. And I'm just too slow. Okay. 
Greg Wright at nose tackle. And he tacks on the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Yeah, if they get another score, I've got to put the starters back in. Prefer not to do that, though. Is lining up for the onside kick. What's our offense look like? 271. No, wait, wait. Yeah, they have more offense than us. We've had short fields to work with, though. Here's the onside kick. Let it go. Jordan. Well, dreams they had of a That's one of my receivers, I guess. Brad, even if they were able to recover that onside kick, they still probably would not have had enough time. First down. Bulldogs take over at the 42 yeah, this looks good for a handoff. The Bulldogs. Interesting. Set up in the gun. Tried to work our way upfield. Guess I could have gone left. I just didn't want to go toward the dot, but then he ends up following his guy. All right, we've got a couple of yards. Where are we at? This looks, this looks fun right here. Tight end corner. From their own 44 yard line. Oh, it's second down and eight to go. Simon. Dudley, I'm probably looking for Dudley or Hart here. Just on a quick read type of deal. Back to pass. Look. Look at that. Pretty nice. Dudley's had some nice catches. His touchdown, he had another first down pickup off of a similar, like a little stop route. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coca-Cola. Okay, we don't really want to run this. Fresno State lines up with three P. Receivers. Reed. I, I called this with the intention of audling out. Fan, I guess. Okay, they blocked him. Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> if it wasn't for the blowback, I actually would have been able to run by him. That's frustrating. Second and 17. I guess we'll run split and drag, see if we can get some of that back here. Might be time for for Simon to let one let one rip. Hopefully it's a man I can hit Leonard here. Yeah, here we go. Well, it's not. Jensen. Oh, no. Bad pass. That's a bad pass. Well, there's your downfield. Oh, get it back. Get it back. Yes. I mean, I guess I should have precision high. That's just, that's a terrible pass. That's really bad. I mean, I had to come back to that. That was, he didn't put enough mustard on that at all. Yeah, at least we got it back. Lost momentum. That's okay, though. This game is slowly getting out of hand. Corner curls. Let's try this. The defense knows that they'll be Who's going sideline? Leonard. Our main it. man. This might be zone. There's only two guys out there. Out the yep, it's zone. Oh. Okay, he made up for that. Wow, that was a nice throw. Get on the hoss, Leonard. Broke it. Oh, man, almost stayed in bounds. <laughs> he is so tired, but they won't take him out, apparently. Let's just run QB slot. Oh, right, dude, after that after that Jensen throw, that was terrible. I don't have much faith. So their last red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense can hold them this time. Gosh darn it. They bring him down in the back. I guess I could have tried to keep running. The great jump just destroyed us there, though. Now he couldn't go anywhere because there was no place for him to run. P. Reed, yeah. Oh, actually, let's go P. Reed flow. Let's get him some work with the old faithful play. Okay, they finally subbed their guys out, it appears. Gun, so we have a, we have a uh, corner out here. It happens. These things happen. Okay. Mm. Minus two. I guess I should have just let it. I should have kept it. Well, I'm probably getting destroyed, though. Dudley might have come open. That was zone, though, so that's very risky. Let's just go for, like, a three wide something or other. Oh, here we go. Receiver middle. This is good. Now we can give... We'll give, we'll give Simon a chance for redemption here. The Bulldog. Set up in the gun. Okay, we have green blocking, so we shouldn't have to hold heart. Gosh darn it. We'll just let him run for it. I went out of bounds. Yeah. 
I guess I'll just get the three. They're going to go for the easy three here. This is a 27-yard field goal attempt. So did I have anybody there? I mean, so really against zone, the wide right guy is the read, but there's just he's sandwiched. Safety, safety. So I guess I could have held on to it and tried to zip it in here. If I stay in the pocket, I could try to zip it into Dudley. I really didn't think he'd be that far downfield. I could have sworn that his route had him more like more like here, like five yards shorter than that. So sandwiches are pretty clutch. Well, let's see what we can get here. Maybe we can get the ball back. So we lost out on 10 yards. We're over 300 yet. We should be. 314. We still have less than them. But it's okay. If we had better offense with feathers than with car, we'd have a QB controversy. We don't want that. We do not want the city of Fresno questioning our quarterback choice. Wow, I got decked. Guys, what do you think about this situation? Hopefully we'll see okay, so I'm thinking nickel, cover two, they really all the way. Today, but this is an opportunity for them to get yeah, that's true, man. We need more unity. In case their quarterback, or they're, they're still with their normal guys in. Full man up on their receiver. Yeah, we need unity. I like the shades on Pat. That works too well. You guys, I hope you guys recognize that. You, we got to keep this going. The Pat shades, that's sick. And we'll get it. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Why can't I call a uh, audible? I don't know what my audibles are. Okay, that works. Oh, no. Oh, gosh, looped. Okay, thank goodness. I guess they're just running the ball. Yeah, and we'll get the. I'll have. I'll have the emotes in chat next time. Here today's Coca-Cola players of the game. These kids really stepped it up. Powell, we'll play Powell deep. We have to back him up though because he's slow. Yes. Rushing. Good job. Okay. Second and sixteen. Okay, now they're passing it a bit. We'll run our cover three. Oh wow. Yeah, we were ahead by quite a bit, it's true. We've let things get out of hand just a touch. Setting up play action. Rolls to the okay, right. get there. It's complete. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That play fake good for five yards. Same cove. Okay, we'll play Gates and just know we have to play back. His he's not in the high risk part of the defense, though. You know what? No, we're playing right. We'll let Gates roam. This is just a much higher risk area of the, the okay, here we go. Okay, thank goodness. Good job, right? In case they're probably going for it. Yep. Let's go nickel regular. Guard flats a little bit better, I feel like. Gun. Yeah. Oh, we'll do this. Oh, here it goes. Get him. Yes. Okay. We got a chance for pick up more yardage. We got a chance. 23-41. Okay, let's run double running back option. Yeah, that was nice. Greg Wright, I think with two. Oh, that's not Greg Wright. Who was that? Oh, that's Gun. Yeah, that's clutch, man. That was super clutch. Way to engage. Okay, we'll take off to the right with this because we need Lawrence. Hart is very slow. We need Lawrence running this sucker. Okay, they all they all went. Oh man, I should have pitched. I guess we'll run hurry up. Oh, I didn't see who the player of the game was. There you have it, folks. Your Coca-Cola players of the game. They really earned it out there today. Option left side. Pitch is back. Hmm. I was hoping he could break one. Well, we gained a couple yards. It's a done deal here as the final whistle blows. Kirk, any final thoughts here? Well, it looks like we called Yeah, it probably was. Be hard to not be. Thanks, Obsidian. Yep. This one is a little a little farther out. A little farther of a, uh, of a, uh, it was not that close. The score made it look a little bit closer. It was a boat race. Caused six turnovers, man. It's quite a feast of turnovers. All right, I'll switch back to my other input now.
No, just one, just one. I mean, so here's the thing, though. If I do another game today, it would be tonight. It would not be right now. Wow, so they really, they really beat me up on offense. But I had a lot of short fields. Nah, dude, I I know it's it's uh, may, maybe later, maybe later. I do plan on doing a game either either at night, or maybe on Thursday or the weekend to make up, because I did miss a game. Okay, feathers feathers turned it around with his efficiency. It did help a lot that uh, who who had the long one? I guess it was Bennett had the seventy five yarder. Rouse, oh, I guess we should have just rushed more. I don't know, man. They're kind of. It was just, it was, a, this was a strange game. Usually I'm running the ball quite a bit more. I didn't really mean to pass it that much more than I ran it. Nice spread here. Did Wiley, Wiley, two for 28. I would like to get him the ball more. I need to look for more routes and just maybe look, look at, look Wiley's way more because he's really good. He gets open. He has that secret rating, whatever it is. Yeah, it's true. It's true. That's a good call. Three, four does wreak havoc on my offense. A lot of tackles for loss. Seven. They had a few too. Two sacks. I had four sacks. Three picks. They picked me one time. What was that pick? Oh yeah, it was uh, uh, Simon underthrew Jensen hardcore. We had to punt this game. That's a bad sign. <laughs> Clearly, our offense struggled. We had to punt three times. All right, good stuff. Let's check out the overall, though. Okay, so rushes. We didn't do that great rushing, but yeah, 3-4 really does that to us. 23 rushes for 70. That's not that good. I mean, if they don't turn it over that much, it's a way different game because they were moving the ball fairly efficiently. We did pick them off. Other than that, they were picking up yardage efficiently, I guess. Four fumbles, three loss. Da -da -da. Yeah, pretty nice. Even time of possession. That doesn't happen very often. Usually I have a lot more time of possession. Yeah, we'll save it. Some nice point totals. 46, 48. We'll advance that, so we'll check on recruits, we'll check on any impending suspensions, and that will do it. I am undefeated. I, in fact, I have a 20, 30 game winning streak. Yes, we've had some close calls. It's funny because there are probably, I would say, at least six games in there that I had really easily could have lost, and I just I managed to squeak it out. Wait, what, was, what am I seeing down there? Okay, never mind. Seeing things. Okay, here we go. Stayed the same, same, same. Lost ground here. Same, same. We're kind of high, though. So, yeah, that looks, that looks pretty good. Okay, we lost this guy, but we weren't giving him points before. Uh, it'll happen. We have, let's see. So, Oregon, they're not rated that highly. They're only a C+. Plus. Oh, they lost. But they are 4-1. We also have this game against Minnesota. They're a B minus. Then later in the season, okay, Cal. Oh, Cal's an A plus. Arizona State is an A plus, and then USC is an A plus. So we're gonna have a month of pretty tight games here. Cal, even Oregon State, they're a B minus. So we're gonna have four, three, three, three out of four games to end the season are gonna be against A pluses. So it's gonna be hard. It'll be hard. That's when we'll see potentially some higher potential for some close games. Oh my gosh. Look at this. We're out of points. I gotta get this under control, man. I gotta start I gotta start recruiting guys with better discipline. What did they do? Rogers refused to pay attention in our film study session. He was goofing off and had to be repeatedly reminded to pay attention. Okay, so he was goofing off in film study. Malik Jack Marquise. What did Marquise do? Rumor has it Jackson uses others to take exams for him. Rumor or not, we need to make a statement by suspending him for a few games. <sighs> I did, the most frustrating part, so we have plenty of depth. Losing these guys is not that big of a deal. We have other good players on defense. But see that NCAA team interest? It's getting high. It's too high. I'm going to have... 
Like it, it hurts my academic reputation, which I'd rather keep high, and it hurts. Uh, it makes it makes it to where I could potentially have sanctions levied against my team, which would be removal of. I, I could lose scholarships if it gets really bad. I'm I'm just gonna have straight up have to start giving more points to. Uh, I mean, the season's only half over, and I'm already out of points. I'm gonna have to put more points in discipline next year, a lot more. My guys aren't being have. Don't appreciate it. Well, that's that. That'll do it for the video. Thanks for watching. Another pretty convincing win. We get closer to the end of the season, which is going to be a serious gauntlet. Cal, Arizona State, USC, all excellent, excellent teams. Arizona State's two and three, but they're an A plus on rating, so that's really going to be it's going to be interesting. So, so yeah, the season rolls on. Oh, anything on Heisman Watch? I don't think we have anybody. There's no way. Yeah, we don't have anybody. Kevin Riley. He was, he's a real guy. 93. They are your program prestige. So that's your prestige. So I have max prestige, six stars. Academic, I'm only three. And the way the reason that matters is because if you have higher prestige, you get more points for recruiting on the offseason, which means you have basically have more resources to go after recruits. And... Your program prestige also is something that players like. So if a player is interested in program prestige and yours is high, he's going to have more interest in your program. If he likes program prestige but yours is low, it's going to be harder to convince him to come. And the same with academic standing. If a guy is really interested in academics, then a three-star academic is going to be like medium on, on whether it affects his, his desire to come to your school. If, he likes, if he's interested in an academic school and you have high academics, it's going to help you, it's going to help you land him. Yeah, so if you if you manage to check out any of the recruiting stuff, you can kind of look at it here. This is kind of a little taste of what it's like. Uh, if you look at this guy, look at the pitch feedback. Let's find somebody that has pitch feedback. So this is what you get in in, in the regional recruiting. This is the off season. This is in season recruiting. The quote unquote normal recruiting time is in between seasons, and basically you have this thing. It says David does not care about your program prestige. Fresno is okay. He's more concerned about other things. So that's location. So. You kind of they give these different pitch feedbacks, and you can you can emphasize stuff. So you can see where it says pitch, kind of in the bottom middle. It says pitch during visit only. If you have something that they like, you'll set your pitch to whatever that aspect of your school is. And when you have when the week advances and you talk to them, you'll emphasize that topic, and it'll give you a better chance, potentially a better chance to land them. See, this says he's very excited about the opportunity to play for a coach like you. So whenever it's time for this guy to visit. That pitch, it's grayed out right now, but that pitch will be active, and I can set that to Coach Prestige. And then during his visit, he'll be more likely to commit because he is he wants to play for a big-time big coach, and in this game, I'm a big-time coach. Yeah, they really are. You'd be surprised. There's quite a bit. There's quite a bit. And the future games have even more. Now, to me, this is a perfect mix of depth because it's 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 like it's it's pretty in depth but it's also simple enough to where you can know what works and what doesn't the newer ones have so many aspects it's hard to even know what's good and what, what works and what doesn't it's hard to know and i guess that's something you could do through trial and error which this is, i've also learned through trial and error but the more stuff is in there i kind of it kind of just makes my eyes roll back in my head i'm like what am i even doing it's crazy there's so much different stuff so this guy too he wanted to play for a big time coach so there's a good chance we could land him if we get him to visit so Anyhow, I'm going to leave the stream open for a second, but I'm going to end the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.